Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video and in today's video I am doing a huge declutter So this is where I store the majority of my makeup if you guys can see that and those shoes down there I've already got those on my Poshmark book and that's a mess So I need to go through that basically it just needs to be put away I'm making this video because I have too many eyeshadow palettes and I have to be realistic and get rid of ones That I'm not using or no longer like because I have too many and it has overflown at the end of this I will show you guys what my drawer look like but pretty much everything up here is what I am getting rid of so I wanted to make this video to show you guys what I am getting rid of and it will be on my Poshmark if you guys want to shop any of this stuff I'll show you guys what my drawers look like I wish I had done it before and after because literally every drawer here it was piled up on top like I couldn't even close the drawers this is where I store the majority of my makeup and I do have some up here like palettes and collabs and things like that I have a lot of Morphe palettes back there but overall in the drawers is where I store my makeup besides that over there. That's why I put compacts because I don't really have the room to fit any in drawers. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I am going to be getting rid of. So this is the first palette that I see just on top that I'm getting rid of. This is the Electro Pop palette from Kevin Aquan and this is just one that I just don't grab for. So this is what it looks like. This is already up on my Poshmark if you guys are curious. The next palette that I have here to get rid of is the Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne palette. This is really pretty but honestly I have so many colorful shades in my collection and and I just don't need it. So this is on my Poshmark as well. The next one I have here is from a brand called Luminous. This is the Lion King palette. This is a collab with Sir John, which is Beyonce's makeup artist. And this is what the palette looks like. This is really pretty and good quality. I just don't grab for it. And like I said, I have too many eyeshadow palettes and I'm trying to downsize. So the next palette that I have here is from Urban Decay. And this is the Naked Beach palette. I absolutely loved this palette. I got so many pretty looks out of it. It has been used, obviously, but really really, really pretty. I just don't grab for it anymore. So this one is already up on Poshmark as well. I'm not going to say that every time. Pretty much all of these are already up on Poshmark. I just wanted to let you guys know in case you were interested, but this is a declutter video. So I wanted to share with you guys everything that is leaving. So the next palette that I have here is from BH Cosmetics and this is the Festival palette. This is a really pretty palette. Again, I just had too many and I don't grab for this one anymore. I also have the Sir John, the Lion King collection. I also have the contour palette that I I'm getting rid of. So this is what the packaging looks like. It just has contours and bronzer shades depending on your skin tone. I just never reach for this. I have single compacts that I like to reach for. I'm also getting rid of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the sugar one. I just don't use this anymore and there is a lot of product still left. This is probably this one and Gleam was my favorite one but again I just don't reach for this one anymore so this one has to go. The next one I have is from Nabla and this is the Secret Palette. So I'm getting rid of this one because I I literally never use it. I keep saying that I'm going to. I swatched a couple shades, but honestly, I just couldn't really get into this brand and I tried. So with that being said, I also have the Poison Garden palette from Nabla. Again, I just couldn't get into this brand. I tried to and I kept telling myself I was going to use it, but honestly, I didn't feel inspired to use it. So this one has to go. So I have two Stila palettes that I'm getting rid of and this is what the packaging looks like. I just never reach for these. I have shadows that I prefer over these. So this is what this one looks like has to go but this is what this one looks like. This one has more pretty black pastel metallic shades and this is what it looks like. Just never reach for it. Don't have the want to reach for it so this one has to go. So the next palette that I have that I'm getting rid of is the Too Faced Pretty Mess. This is a collab with Erica Jane. I just never reached for this. I think I maybe just swatched it. I also have the Tartlet Toasted for sale as well. I just don't reach for this one anymore. It was good when I used it. I just don't have a need for it anymore. The next one I have here is the Kylie palette. This was a collab. I have one of these already. I'm getting rid of this one. This one has been swatched. So this one is up for sale as well. And if you want to see what it looks like on the inside, it's on my Poshmark. But I'm getting rid of this one. I already have one, so I didn't need both. Now I have a little bundle that's already up, so I will show you guys what's in it. I'm getting rid of this Pixie Quad. It's a glitter eye quad, and this is what it looks like. Also is the BH Cosmetics Citrine little palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I'll show you guys. But this is what it looks like. I think I only swatched this one shade right here. Also in that bundle is this NYX Ultimate 
Cosmic Shadow Palette. This one is called Phoenix. But this is what Phoenix looks like. This is in the bundle. And then I also have this Morphe 9 Pan Palette. So this is what it looks like. This one hasn't been used. It's just been swatched a little bit. So that is a bundle that's up on my Poshmark. I also have this as a bundle. This is the Milani Pure Passions Palette. This palette is really good. I just don't grab for it anymore. Really soft mattes and really pretty like bold metallics. And then I also have this ABH Norvina collection. This is their little nine pans that they did. I just don't use it. This is what it looks like. So this and this is on my Poshmark as a bundle. I also have this Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. I have never used this. I think I swatched the creams maybe one time, but barely. So this is what it looks like on the inside. This is like her first one that she ever released. These are the creams and these are the powders. It looks basically brand new. I just don't use this one. I use the second one. This is the one that I chose to get rid of. So then I have these Becca and Chloe palettes. These were like BFF. It had one with Chloe and one with her friend Malika. So these are the face quads. I just don't grab for these and they basically look brand new. So this is what it looks like. This one is Chloe's. These are up for sale if you guys are interested. And this is what Malika's looks like. And here's what it looks like on the inside. I actually prefer Malika's over Chloe's, but again, I just don't grab for these. I also had went through my ColourPop palettes and these are the ones that I decided to get rid of. And actually, if you guys are interested, I have all of these ColourPop palettes that I'm about to share with you guys as a bundle for sale on my Poshmark. The first one in the bundle is the brown sugar. I just don't use this one anymore. And this is what it looks like gently used. Like it looks basically brand new. So this is the first one. This one is called In a Trance. Don't use this one a lot. I used it maybe one time. And then I have this one. This one has only been swatched. I've never actually used it on the eyes. And then I have the Mar palette. This is a good palette, but I just don't reach for it anymore. And this is what the inside looks like. It looks basically brand new. Then I have the bigger palettes. Again, all of these are in the same bundle with the other ones I just shared with you guys. This one is called Give It To Me Straight. I just don't use this. I don't think this has ever been used and it's never been swatched. It's like a mauve tone palette. I also have Good As Gold. I just really don't like yellow toned golds on me. I don't think they look good. So this is what it looks like. It does have mattes in there as well, but I just never grabbed for this one. Then I have the You Had Me At Hello palette. I never really got into this palette at all. So this is what it looks like. If you can hear something and that's my husband on his game. I also have the Yes Please palette. I just don't grab for this one anymore. This was actually my second one, but this is what it looks like. This one hasn't been touched. I have the Double Entendre palette. This is a pretty neutral palette, but I have so many neutral palettes, so I just decided to get rid of this one since I have so many ColourPop palettes. The California Love palette is also another neutral palette, so this is what it looks like. I've never used it, don't need it. And this one's in the box still. It's never been used. The only reason I'm getting rid of this palette is because I have another one, so I decided to go ahead because I didn't need two of them. This one is in the bundle as well. And then I have this one. This is the last palette in the bundle. This is called the Chasing Rainbows palette. This was a limited edition palette, I'm pretty sure. I just don't really use it. I swatched a couple shades, but this is one that I don't feel I need. So that is in the bundle as well. Moving on, I decided to get rid of some of my Urban Decay palettes. Now, this one is a good formula. I just, again, don't like yellow toned golds on me. I don't think they look good. So this is the Naked Honey palette. It has been gently used it does have the brush. Again, don't like the tones on me, so this one has to go. I'm also getting rid of the Naked Cherry palette. I just wasn't a fan of this one, so this is what it looks like. And I'm also getting rid of this one. This was a limited edition one. This one was a good formula. I just have so many smoky palettes in my collection that I don't need it, so this one is the Naked Smoky palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I do have the Too Faced Stardust palette. This was a collab with Vegas Nay. This is old, but it's more of like a collector's item. So this is actually on my Poshmark as well. This has been swatched. I don't, I think I used it maybe one time. This is what it looks like. Next, I have the Berries and Cream palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I bought this, but honestly, I think it looks boring in my opinion. I know a lot of people really do like this palette. I know a lot of people really do like this palette. I just have never used it. I don't see myself using it, so I am decluttering. Moving right along, I have the Natasha Denona Leela or Lila palette. I have only swatched just a couple of shades. This is one that I just couldn't get into, so I am decluttering. It is already up. And then I also have the Natasha Denona Safari palette. 
product. I have never used this, not even swatched it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I really don't know why I bought this. I think I just fell into the hype. These are just matte shades. They're really pretty for the fall. I just don't use it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. This is up already on my Poshmark. And again, I've never used this and I've never swatched it. Then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I only swatched a couple shades in here and then the rest are basically brand new. So I just don't use it, never got into it. So this one is up on my Posh as well. Violet Voss essentials pro palette and this is what it looks like i wanted to keep it for this pink shade because this is really pretty and you can tell i've swatched it but i decided to let it go because i have a lot of palettes with pinks in it so i didn't really need it but this pink right here is absolutely stunning this is the jeffree star and shane collab this is the conspiracy palette i have it in the box it's brand new it's never been touched i don't want it so it is up on my posh if you guys are curious i also have this ghost hourglass quad let me go ahead and open it up for you guys this is what it looks like it's barely been been used. I have used it maybe twice, but this is what it looks like. I have the Too Faced Pretty Rich palette. I swatched a couple shades. You can see a theme if I really didn't care for them. I just swatched them, but this is what it looks like. I swatched a couple shades. I just don't use it. And then the last palette that I have here to share with you guys that I'm getting rid of is the Too Faced Beauty Daydreamer palette. This was like a holiday collab. It actually opens up like this, and this is what it looks like. I maybe swatched a couple shades. Other than that, I haven't touched it, so I'm getting rid of this. And then I also, I haven't posted this one on my Poshmark yet, but this is the Becca Champagne Pop like glow stick. Like you can put this on the body or even on the face if you wanted to. I'm just getting rid of this. It's never been used and I don't see myself using it. But I wish I could have showed you guys what my drawers had looked like before. Let me show you guys what my drawers look like after I have went through everything. So I do have makeup in there. That's a lot of color pop. Actually was able to put most of my color pop palettes in drawers. I literally have like collections in here that are just collectors items that I don't want to squash the boxes or anything. That's why they're not in like these big drawers. Literally, this is just like random products. If you can hear my husband, I'm sorry. He does this every time I film. But these are my lashes. And then I have lip kits, brushes. I have lipsticks in here that I use. I have lipsticks in here that I use. Just a lot of different formulas. This is what my first palette drawer looks like. Now, I do have things on top of each other, but it looks so much better than it did. All of that going down the road, that's all NARS. These are my Michaela Glenlight palettes. Have just a lot of random things. Newer items in here that I have purchased. This is what it looks like. It looks so much better than it did. And I can actually close the drawer, which is nice. The next drawer that I have looks so much better as well. This is one that I just lay like this. Also, I lay these here as well. Like, you can see there's kind of like palettes on top of palettes. Like, underneath is my Urban Decay. But this looks so much better. These are all Benefit. I've got Natasha Denona back here. These are Natasha Denona. Faulty palettes. I literally have one Jeffrey palette left. This is the Jawbreaker. I have some more Natasha Denona, Tarte, Stila, Urban Decay. These are Natasha Denona, all of these as well. Then I just keep that one here. I have some Urban Decay, some Tarte, more Urban Decay. Just a little bit of everything. Pat McGrath, there's Tarte here at the front. Natasha Denona, here's some Tarte. I have some Rim Beauty from Ariana Grande. I have two of her little palettes. Have more Pat McGrath here. Then I have some Natasha Denona, more Pat McGrath. And this is the new nude palette from Huda. And then all of those are Anastasia. I'm trying to give just a little overview. I know you can't see like every little detail what's in there, but this is all all Too Faced in my next drawer. All of this is Too Faced, if you guys can see. More Too Faced. Those are Too Faced in the back. These three are Storybook Cosmetics, and all six of these are the big Norvina palettes from Anastasia. There's a Fenty palette, and this is Too Faced. This is Too Faced, but other than that, most of this drawer is Too Faced. I'm down on the floor, but I do have some shoes on my Poshmark. I have these. These Steve Maddens have never been worn. It's a size nine. And then I also have like these heels that are Vans. These are also on my Poshmark. And then most of this in my last short. This is Juvia's Place. I have a lot of Juvia's Place in here. Even those little mini palettes are Juvia's. I have BH Cosmetics. I have lots and lots and lots of ColourPop. I have Morphe. There's some drugstore palettes, but these are all palettes that I really wanted to keep. Pretty much that's what's in here. Morphe, ColourPop, pop juvia's place and they're stacked on stacked on stack i mean i don't think you guys can really tell these are actually like a whole stack going down these are two those are stacked going down i don't know if you guys can see all that but basically this is just stuff that i really wanted to keep when i first started going through these i literally couldn't close the drawers so so much better than it was but here is a look at all the palettes that i am getting rid of if you guys are interested in any of these feel free to check out my poshmark but i just wanted to film this declutter video it's been a long time coming i feel like i needed to get rid of some so but other than that that is everything that is all the palettes that i'm getting rid of i hope you guys enjoyed and i just 
want to thank you guys so much for being here, liking, and commenting. I will be back very soon with another video. But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.